Hello everyone, I go by Shiva Feng, and um, this is going to be a Let's Play um, of Factorio. Um, we're going to be using Factorio uh, 0 0.10.1. Um, and the settings that I'm going to be using for this game are going to be in the new game uh, or setting for very high fragmentation because I like our uh, terrain segmentation uh, because I like to have uh, all the different terrain types rather than just being all one, all the same terrain type. And enemy evasions I'm going to make a little bit more frequent um, just to increase the the excitement level. Um, I, I tend to be a very laid back and I like to build things a lot. I tend to get a little bit myopic about combat so this kind of keeps me on my toes a little bit. Um, because of a bug that's in the current version uh, you can't load a game that you've started in 10 point uh, 0 0.10.1. I've actually had to load an, an older version that was created in nine, uh, 0 0.9.8 and then loaded into uh, this so that it uh, can save and load. Um, as you can see here, I already placed my mine. I, that was just to make sure that I could save and load in this version to get around that little bug. So first off, I'm going to make a couple iron axes. And I'm going to need, so this map was good. Uh, it has lots of coal, um, lots of iron in two places, and, and cover two places. And that's really what you want to look for when you start a new game. Uh, I need, I'm going to need five pieces of stone. and get some of this coal so that I can start my iron mines. I think four pieces will be enough just to get the iron mine started. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is get science all set up. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run this this coal and copper into the coal and set mines along all along it. Pretty basic stuff to start with. I'm going to chop down this tree because I'm going to need some boxes because my coal is going to go into this box when I make the coal mine, which is what this five stone is for, by the way. And there's five iron plates. So we're going to make the stone furnace. We don't quite have enough iron. I'm going to make the wheels that I'm going to need. So as you can see, the burner miner takes three iron gear wheels, which I've already made, the stone furnace, which I've already made, and three iron plates. And we'll drop this down here. I'm going to take one piece of coal and drop that in there. It feels a little bit like cannibalization, <laughs> having coal, using coal to get coal, uh, but you get six pieces of coal for every one piece. If I let this sit until it's empty, it's, it's about six pieces. A little bit more coal in there, and that's going to keep me going for a little while. Now we're going to set up, oh I should probably start this iron. Next we're going to do the copper the same way as we have the iron stuff here. And for that I'm going to need five more pieces or ten more pieces of stone. Uh, five for the burner and five for the, the furnace. And there's 10. And that's nighttime. And yeah, you, I know. Now you probably can't see in the dark. I will be putting up lights when I get that technology. But for now, we'll just have to. I'll just try and shine my flashlight on things. Um, we've got burner and we've got the stone furnace. And we've got some coal. And copper ore. 
two copper, or it's not copper, but another thing. I need more coal. So I'm gonna need a lot of coal running around for this first little bit. Now that I've got the basics down pat, um, my next thing is to work on electricity. And I don't. No. Eh, right here is probably good. Tie off of this. Okay. So the boilers, um, so the, the path for the, the boilers um, uses the burner miners and the stone furnace as well as the steam engine. I don't know what the burner miners, the boilers, um, which requires stone furnace and pipes uh, and basically a lot of metal. Um, I thought I also needed copper for this but i don't think i do except for the uh, this actually I can make one of those right now um so i need i'm going to start with two boilers so we need 10 more stone and i guess it's all iron Have them go this way. And I'm going to make 10 pipes to start off with. I actually want an underground pipe, but I don't quite have enough. They added sound effects to all the machines, um, and actually the walking when you're not walking on. Um, 9.8 had it so that when you walked on your conveyor belts, you'd make sounds, but the footstep sounds are new uh, to me. They might have been in 10.1, in, uh, but I never played 10.1. I, I, uh, I started playing Factorio with 9.8, and then uh, just recently decided to upgrade to the experimental version. Um, even though it had that loading bug, which I didn't know about when I started, but I like the sound effect. I like some of the changes they've made. The the inserter uh, graphics are different. The, the chip graphics are different. The gun gra this magazine graphic is different, which is good. Uh, the old magazine graphic you couldn't see on the conveyor belts. It was really annoying, but it's good now. I like it. So we've got stone. Hmm. I don't want to block off that stone. I want to move this up a little bit. Do, do, do. You'll find that I change my mind on things a lot. <laughs> Hopefully I change my mind before everything gets set up. Um, not so bad when you have um, um, blueprints, but until you get blueprints and construction blocks, it's changing your mind is annoying and having to move things around. Because you just can't move things around. You have to yeah, take forever to move things around. With construction robots, it, it's easy to move things around. And... Need lots more of this. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the 10 pieces of stone that I need. Once again. Okay, so two boilers and a steam engine. And 
underground pipe, and let's make all of these. I think I need to make another underground pipe before I do anything else. Let's grab what stone is here. Another underground pipe. Okay, and the reason I'm going to use underground pipes here is. Hmm. Okay, so I can walk between things because pipes block your movement and it's annoying to walk through them. So I like to put an underground pipe right here. Give me just enough room to move through. And then the way I set up my furnaces is probably a little bit different than most people. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so one one pump can manage six boilers. And so I set six and then um, I give myself two more for space. And that will be the the one side. And we make another iron run here. Which would be enough for I think for everything I need to do. Oh, I should probably already built it. Fourteen more pipes, and the same is going to be done on the other side. And the reason I do this this way is because later in the game, um, oops, I fenced myself in. Later in the game, um, I put a chest here. Um, a logistics chest here, and then a inserter to funnel ore through here, um, or it'll be a solid fuel by then. And that's th this way. It's all set up. I don't have to worry about it. I put six on this side and six on this side. So then I use another one of these. Uh, I probably don't need that much space. Uh, I'm just short. Well, I only have to do one side. Um, I like to do this on both sides, and then I put four on each side. Um, but for now, you used to be able to, in, in version uh, 0 0.9, you used to be able to shift click and have ghost impressions. Um, w and that used to help me lay things out to make sure things are right. Um, but you can't do that in this version anymore. Um, that's something that's that only has real use when you have construction robots. Um, but I like to use it before I get construction robots, but now I can't. So that's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Um, I remember when I first played, I used to shift click uh, to keep doing something, because that's usually what shift does, is it lets you repeat an action. And I'd be wondering why all these ghost things are appearing. So I get that they removed it to help not confuse people. Okay, so then I need some wood and I need some copper wire. Okay, I can make four of these and I'm gonna need some more wood. Wanting to trade wood for sheep. Sorry, uh, Settlers uh, Settlers of Catan reference. Okay, uh, yes, that should be plenty. So drop a little bit of coal on each of these. And we're gonna run. Now a nice trick that I don't see a lot in Let's Plays. Um, people like to place these manually. Um, but actually if you just, as long as you're close enough, if you're too far away you can't place them. But if you're close enough, you just hold down the mouse button and run with the mouse button and it will keep placing, as soon as it's at its maximum distance, it'll just keep placing another another tower and you can lay down a lot of huge long thing easy, quite easily that way. So now once I have power the very first thing that I like to put on the electric mines is coal because then I'm not using coal to making coal um, which is always a little silly but it has to be done in the early game. So the first electric miner goes here somewhere. I'm going to move this and put it 
but here. I like, I like the new sounds of X. I don't even know what the electric mine sounds like. I'm gonna put on this side. Nice. Okay. So now I've got coal. This actually produces, I think, double the rate as the, as the burner miner. Uh, mining speed 0 0.35, so not quite double, 0 0.5, but yeah, so performance, available performance, uh, I think they made a change to, um, I think they made a change to hot water, I think it cools down as it moves through pipes. It didn't used to. Uh, two pipes set up like this used to have this uh, at full available performance. Um, I think my next two, um, what are they called? Boilers are going to be up here. Oh, I also have cold water coming in from this side. And I think, yeah, I think that's my problem. So I think I'm going to take this side out for now. Yeah, that was my problem. Okay. Or at least you know what my my what my future intentions are, uh, which is which is kind of the point of, of this video to show how I do things and maybe you can tell me if I'm doing something completely wrong or maybe you have get an idea. Like there are some things that I do that. I think are extremely optimal um, that a lot of people in, in videos don't do. Okay, so next I need to put, oh perfect, I have just enough for two more of these. So we'll do the same thing over here with the, with the iron. Let's see, can we cover? Move it down one more. Miners can actually pick up everything in the space, the green space around it. Um, that's why I like to try and optimize that area. And for now, we're just going to put it straight in the stone furnace. I will have something more set up so that I can automate all this. That's one of the first. That's the first thing that I do now is I'm going to automate. Actually, not quite. I'm going to put up these miners and then I'm going to start a science factory. Now I like to start a science factory like pretty much right away because then I can get my science started. Um, the way I set up my factory or my my, my smelting of of, um, of of metal bars is I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need this long arm long long-handed inserter, like right away. So this is the first thing that I research. So as soon as I have enough resources for my lab, I'm gonna sit down the lab, actually. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna build 10 of these right away, which is how many I need for automation. Do, do, do. 36 pieces of iron. Now this is a little bit inefficient. Um, two of these stone furnaces can handle the output from one from one electric mining drill. Um, so this is actually only half of the of the amount I need to handle this. Need. Thirty-six. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to happen, let's have a look around. Actually, 
I want to build one of these. Oh, it's 25. Well, damn. Um, yeah, I will build one of these. I do want to see what's going on around. Now, the nice thing about radars that I didn't know for a long time is there's two parts to it. One is it shows you this square immediately. And you can actually see monsters that are in the square. If there's a monster army coming towards you, you can see them. And then it scans the outer region and it'll only show monsters there temporarily, but then they'll go kind of fog away. But okay. So now Hmm. I'm gonna set up another burner miner. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is set up a second burner miner, and I'm gonna need a chest. A lot of people like to put up a mine for, for stone at this point, but I actually don't um, actually don't need a whole lot of stone at the beginning. I've got pretty much all the stone I need except for something I'm gonna except when I expand my burners. Um, so I will be putting a mine there, just not just not yet. Okay, we'll pick this up. Hold into a chest. I'm gonna need an electric pole here. And we're gonna put two inserters. And we're gonna put a inserter on here, an inserter here. And we'll use that five stone to build the second stone furnace. And we'll stick plenty of fuel. All right. Oh, nice. They even have sound effects for the, the inserters now. Awesome. Makes the bass sound a lot more alive. I don't need more. Eh. Notice I only built five of these. Uh, that's because I'm saving my iron so I can build this. That way I can start this. And while it's processing the five that I have now, I can make the other five. Perfect. That was a lot faster than if I had just left it running at one. Uh, we've got creeps up here. Biters. That's a lot closer than my last last game with these settings. They were like out here at the closest. Looks like there's more up here, unless that's copper. Should be very interesting. Okay. Now, oh. stick these five in there, and then I'm going to build. Five of these. And we've started researching automation. Yay for automation. Sweet. All right. So once this is done, the next thing I'm going to do is the one thing you get out of automation is assembly machines. As I'm actually going to set up an assembly machine right here and manually feed all the stuff for this. Because the thing that takes the longest about about making these is the actual making of these. I can make the, the wheels in hand and then just stick the wheels 
into the into this machine and have a stack of copper and then just feed this. I actually get all of my red resources done, my level tier one resources done, before I even have everything else of my base set up. Um, and a lot of people don't do that right away. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to need a lot more wood for poles, so I'm just going to run around and get poles and wait for automation to finish researching. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to finish, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build some transport belts and start working on getting these lines together um, to start mass producing steel and copper. My burners run out of fuel, so I'm going to have to run up here and drop some fuel into them. Actually, that's probably the first thing that I want to want to set up is I want to set up these so that they are permanently. Fortunately, I can't do that um, because if you remember the way I had it set up before. I had this basically surrounded, so I have I actually have to get this technology to get these underground belts, which will be the second technology that I research. Um, and there we go, that solved the power crisis. Hmm. I wish I'd put this here. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that for splitter too. I'm gonna need to split my coal. Where do I have more coal? I have more coal down here. Okay, good. I've got lots of oil. That's nice. That'll be a nice start. Uh huh. Okay, so we're just gonna. We're not gonna, I'm not going to hook this up just yet. I'm just going to bring this over like so. Here we go. Uh, logistics. Now that I've got this tech, I need more of those. Twenty-two iron. Okay, well, I'll start by making the three electric chips and the five iron gear wheels. And then I just need three more iron plates. So this is going to be making science packs. Yay! So I'm going to stick a full stack of copper in here. And then all I have to worry about is making wheels. Here we go. So there's five to start with. As you can see, this actually takes quite a long time. And I just don't want to be making these in my hand. I just don't. It just takes too long. This way, don't have to worry about it. 
Um, I should have built one of these before I made the wheels. Whoops. And done. So now we've got automated science packs. And we're just about out of time uh, for this video. So I'm just going to actually end this here and then, uh, or end this video here and then start the second video right away, which will be setting up the supply chains for. Uh, iron and copper. I'll catch you next time.